Good day everybody. We have this question. We are expected to find the value of this expression square root of 600 times 601 times 602 times 603 positive 1. Now the main idea is if you take product of consecutive integers of course positive integers consecutive positive integers and if you were to add 1 the resultant would be a perfect square. You can try that out. Of course, since it's a perfect square, if you were to apply the square root function, you will get the quantity or the outcome. So this is a very important idea which will be emphasized in this particular question. So having mentioned that, let us uh, proceed on now you can see that you got 600. So what I wish to do is I would like to take let x be equal to 600. So if I were to take x to be equal to 600, I'm not going to take the square root sign or the square root function as of now. So let's just take x is equal to 600. So this would mean I can now rewrite this entire expression to be as x times x positive 1 times x positive 2 times x positive 3 positive 1. Now what I wish to do is I would like to club these two together and this and this together. So this would give me x squared positive 2 times x and x that's going to be 3x and then 1 into 2 that's going to give me 2. So place that multiplied with x into x squared just place that value there followed by x into 3. So 3x positive 1. Now what I wish to do is I would like to actually split this in this fashion. So I would like to write this as x squared positive 3x as one quantity followed by 2. Now I'm not making any changes, right? I'm just writing the term x squared positive 3x positive 2 in this fashion. This is multiplied with x squared positive 3x and there is a 1 there. Now, I'm going to multiply this with this, so that would give me x squared positive 3x raised to the power of 2. And I'm going to multiply this with this, that's going to give me 2 times of x squared positive 3x, and I've got a positive 1. Now, if, I'm going to use the space, if I were to take, let, say, u be equal to x squared positive 3x, what do you see here? This is going to be u squared positive 2 times u positive 1, right? So what is this? This is nothing but u positive 1 raised to the power of 2. Am I right? So this is equal to, in place of u, we got x squared positive 3x and then followed by a positive 1 and then you have a square there. Now, all these things that we have just obtained boils down to x squared positive 3x positive 1 raised to the power of 2. Now, if I were to apply the square root function, which you see here, onto this expression, then what would the outcome be? Outcome is going to be the radical sign and the square would get annihilated, giving me x squared positive 3x positive 1. But my x is equal to 600. So this is going to be 600 squared positive 3 times of 600 positive 1. So what is 600 squared? I'm using the space here. 600 squared is going to be 0, 0, 0, 0, 36, right? You got four zeros here. So place the four zeros and 6 into 6, 36. And now 3 times 6, that's going to be 0, 0, 6, 3 is 18. And then you got 1 there. Now you add these things up, you get 1. This is 0, this is 8. This is 1, this is 6, this is 3. So the outcome is going to be 361801. Right, so this is going to be the solution for the question. And you can actually see that. Now, if you were to take, say, four consecutive integers, say I'm going to take 2, 3, 4, 5, and I'm going to add 1 to it, right? So what do I get here? 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 4 is 24. 
multiplied with 5 followed by 1 so this is 5 4s are 22 and uh, 5 2s are 10 11 and 12 that's 120 added with 1 which is going to be 121 but what is 121 then? 121 is nothing but 11 squared right it's a perfect square we are getting so no matter what quantities you take if they were to be consecutive integers followed by an addition of one you would arrive at a perfect square which upon being subjected to a square root function will yield us the number thank you everybody enjoy your night